Hello, everybody. I say that like every time, like, hello. It's in that voice. My daughter calls it my Facebook Live voice or my video voice. <sighs> Hi. Hi, Susan. Hi, Terry. Hi, Dolly. It's Dolly, right? I like to think so. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Lynn. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Janet. I so don't have makeup on today, and it's okay because I would have cried it off anyway. I'm having one of those days, you know? I had um, I had a meeting with my um, business coach, and I um, kind of freaked out a little <laughs> on her. <laughs> so, huh, I'm trying to recover. <laughs> it's been um, an emotional emotional week or so. Blech. But I'm excited to be here. I almost canceled. I'm not even going to lie. But then I thought, no, no, I can pull it off. I can do it. So here we are. I'm so excited to see so many of you guys. Hi, Sue from Wisconsin. Beth Ann is here. So nice to see you. Hi, Nikki. So let me tell you a few things about what's been going on in my life. So I had a... Um, I had a wedding this weekend in Minneapolis on Friday afternoon, and it was really sweet. It was my cousin who got married, and I was really excited to be there because, well, of course, I was happy for him. I've um, known he and his new wife for many years, so I'm very excited they're married. And um, I had, <sighs> well, first of all, it was Monday on the north side of Minneapolis, or Friday on the north side of Minneapolis at like 5.30, which meant we had to leave here at noon to get there. And then my internet was out. And then uh, before we left, and I was trying to get a bunch of stuff done before we were gone. Um, and then um, I was so excited to go, though, because it was going to be a whole bunch of my relatives that live either out of the country or in Texas who I hadn't seen in years. And so I really wanted to be there. And long story short... We made it and it was crazy. We had a great time. Um, it was really fun. We spent all weekend with each other. And I mean, like we had a bunch of, there's lots of events associated with the wedding and with my relatives that were in town. So long story short, I had this impromptu family reunion, which was wonderful. But it was also very emotional and kind of exhausting. And um, it just, well, whatever. So we had all of that. And then... Um, I, this morning I freaked out because let's just say I have, as my coach told me, growing pains. I have uh, kind of gone through several rounds of these growing pains and I guess I'm kind of in denial. I don't know. I keep thinking I have it all together and can manage everything perfectly, but as it turns out, I can't. Oh my gosh. So I've been working really hard to get myself organized, but it's just, it doesn't always happen. So she's helping me with that, and I have had um, a lot of soul-searching to try and figure this out. And I, the reason I say that is I've been working pretty constantly with without more than a day's break of working 16-plus hours a day. So I know so many of you think all I do is eat firework Oreos drink Diet Coke and stamp, but that's not true. <laughs> oh, there's just so much more to it than that. <laughs> so I, um, I'm trying to figure out how to work less so that I don't burn out and quit altogether. <laughs> I think, um, it's just one of those things where all of this craziness that I've been working for to get to has happened. And now what do I do with it now that it's here? So anyway, um, I'm trying very hard to work less because I actually have been ignoring my family and my husband, and that's not good. I can't do that. So, needless to say, I'm going to stop yapping about all of this and show you some fun things for my weekend. So, first of all, I'm very excited because I have some fireworks Oreos because, you know, they are, like, about gone. 
And actually, I think I posted last week, my friend Lynette from Minnesota, she was actually from Minnesota. I drove right by her town while I was up there. Uh, I haven't even seen if she's on, but Lynette, I posted this on my, she made this blog. Happiness is a box of fireworks Oreos shared with a friend. And she sent me a box of Oreos. It was awesome. Actually, it was like one of the most amazing gifts I've ever gotten. Only because I love these stupid Oreos. It's just... Disturbing. Disturbing is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So that was really sweet. Um, I went, so <laughs> my aunt asked us to bring a bunt cake to one of our events. We had a brunch on Sunday and I um, was like, a bunt cake? Okay. And we did not have time to make a bunt cake this weekend. We did host a luncheon, which I was impressed we got the house together and cooked food for. But we did not make a bundt cake. However, we went to a store by my sister's house called Nothing Bundt Cakes. <laughs> Get it? And so they had bundt cakes, of course. And P.S. Amazing. They were so good. And they had samples. And I might have had two <laughs> samples, not cakes. We just bought one cake. But then we had it at the brunch, and it was yummy. All right. But they had all these other fun things there. So, for instance, um, and this is so appropriate for the weekend, but if any of you guys know me at all, you might know a little bit about my family, and this is so true. It says, if you met my family, you'd understand. <laughs> Have you seen these? They're, like, there's notepads and um, different things. So then here's the other one I really liked. <laughs> Wine is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. <laughs> I thought that was funny too. So I got these and a couple, well actually, and then I got, actually I got two other things from, this is all from this Bundt Cake store. So um, this one says, get out the toolbox, we're about to get hammered. <laughs> and I think I'm going to bring this one to on stage in November. Just saying. Okay, and then... The other thing that I got, and I got one for my sister too, is um, it says my family tree has some twisted freaking roots. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I thought this was really cute. It's a towel. There's, They had another towel there that I had gotten already that says drink your wine and t it's time to craft. <laughs> so I like that. I have it hanging out in my stamp room or my classroom out just out, out back. So anyway, those were, I did, those were my little retail therapy shopping. I actually also brought home a case of wine. <laughs> the prices in Minnesota are way cheaper. I'm just saying. So anyway, um, I also, let's see, what else do I have to share with you? I also got a bunch of cards in the mail for Julie last week. Thank you guys so much. If you would like to send a card, please do. Um, there's still time. Uh, I would love to send Julie just a whole bunch of cards. I have gotten a whole ton of cards already. And I have um, I have a few to sh share with you because a couple people sent cards for me too, which you did not need to do, but I do appreciate it. It's always so sweet. So this one is from Michelle. And I'll maybe I'll show these when I turn the camera down too. But how gorgeous is this? Oh my gosh. This is from an older kind of retired, I, I'm pretty sure the stamp set is retired, but we do have a current leaf set that you could do this uh, technique with. But it's so pretty. It's just like spritzing water on the... Um, either on the cardstock or on the leaf, whatever. But isn't that gorgeous? I love this. So that was from my uh, Michelle, Michelle Bylaw. Thank you, Michelle. Another one is from Elizabeth. And I don't know if you're on here, Elizabeth, but I talked to her, Elizabeth this morning on the phone. I have to show you this. So she made she made this envelope, and she had um, fast or washi tape holding it together. But look at how cute the envelope is. It's just, I mean, it's really simple, but it's so sweet. And it uses the Painted Harvest, um, or no, Painted Autumn DSP, which I just love. And then she used the same p Painted DSP for a really cute card on the inside. Oh, hello. And then she wrote, she wrote a sweet little message, but she's got the DSP in there. By the way, she has like the most adorably tiny and perfect writing ever, and I love it. And she's so cute. She calls it the crazy old Joyzy stamper. Or scrapper. No, stamper. 
Elizabeth. She's from New Jersey. So I think that's funny. Um, so anyway, isn't that a cute card? And I'll post these on my blog too. So, um, so thank Sorry about that. Somebody just called me. I forgot to put do not disturb on my phone. Okay, now I got another card and we're going to case it today um, in just a minute because it's so awesome. So this is from a lady named Karen, I think Troop. I hope that's how you say her last name. Look at this card. So cute. And I saw that and I was like, oh, I love it. So I got it and I have kind of a wild hair idea. So we'll see if it works. I haven't made it yet because remember how I said I was thinking I was going to cancel? I don't have any projects planned. So we're riffing today. We'll see how it all happens. Plus, well, and then I got a call from my downline who I know wanted to talk to me this afternoon. And I, um, let's just say I talked to her and didn't tell her I was busy. I mean, I told her I had live coming up, but um, she's like, oh no. And I said, no, let's just chat because I didn't want to miss her. She had a couple questions she needed to answer. So anyway, there we go. All right. Um, so are you guys ready to stamp? Don't you think it's time? Then I can stop looking at my non makeup face. I like to think I still have just a teeny bit of summer glow on me because see, look, that's a tan line right there. Well, if you don't look at the dark circles under my eyes, you can see the tan line from my sunglasses. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so anyway, um, yes, if you guys have cards for Julie, thank you guys so much. Please send them. I'll put, I'll flash my address again um, so that you can see that also. So here we go. Are you guys ready? Oh, Karen, you're on here. Awesome. I loved your card, Karen. So the first thing we're going to do is case it. <laughs> So, look, there we've got our Oreos. We'll just rip that open. Like, I, now I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of, like, rationing these. So I hide them because I don't want my kids to eat them because, please, they can eat regular Oreos if they need to. I guess I would probably have to buy a regular Oreo, which kind of seems like a sacrilege to me at this point, but whatever. Okay, so here's my Oreo. Mmm, so good. Okay. So here is the gorgeous card Karen sent me, which P.S. I just absolutely love. Like I literally gasped when I saw it. I love it. So isn't it great? So what I loved about this, I mean, obviously it's beautiful, but she took the rose. This is, um, from the, um, Oh, duh. Rose Garden stamp set. I was, I couldn't think of it. <laughs> Rose Garden framelits. And she took and it kind of divided because they're, you know, they're open. You can't really tuck the leaf behind. So she mounted it to a square and then stuck it behind that way. So she used the layering squares or stitched squares, pardon me, to do this. So I thought, Ooh, that's really cool. And then I thought I made this card a while back. And P.S. I still love this card. It's one of my favorites. So here is the perfect way for me to case this card, revisit this card, and put it all into one. So let's see how we can do that. Um, I'm going to get my... By the way, I don't know if you guys have like a system for eating your Oreos. I do. It's really important that you have this in place, you know. And the way I do things is I eat the top of the cookie off and then I save all the glorious, awesome, uh, poppy goodness right here. And then I eat that second. So here we go. Mmm, it's so good. Mm. I love it. Okay, well, since you can't see me, I can talk with my mouth full a little bit. <laughs> right? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take my card base and I'm going to use um, my card and crumb cake just like I had before. And then like really quick before I went on, I die cut these two pieces. This is how on the fly this is, you guys. I die cut a quick a square in crumb cake and a square in um, a whole, I believe this is called a whole lot of lovely DSP. And then I die cut this shape because I love it. But then I was like, oh, that shape's pretty big. So then I did this shape, which is a little smaller, and I thought it would work better. And then, of course, I have this. See, I mean, it is like fresh off the big shot. You just shovel them in your face. Okay, that works. I love it. 
You love the orange centers. Yeah, these are good. Oh, cased card from Pinterest. Okay, so awesome, Karen. We are casing Karen's card, who Karen cased from Pinterest, and we're also adding my card, which we're casing. So it's like a trifecta. Ooh, I love it. So that's fine. And of course, casing from Pinterest is awesome. I do it. Um, I like to, so I like, you know, case, C-A-S-E stands for copy and share everything. It, there's another version of it, but basically copy and share everything. And what that, or what I like to do is called copy and improve. And that's not to say like the card wasn't good enough in the first place, but I like to kind of put my own touch on it. So that's what I like to do. So that's kind of what we're doing here. All right, so I've die cut these two pieces. We're going to adhere this one and then adhere the other one. I'm going to grab my trusty sponge and silicone mat. Th these have been on back order for forever and they finally have come back in. So I was really excited about that. Um, now I've got my gross sponge. And I will turn this over, put some ink on the back. I'm not going all the way out on the tips. I'm kind of staying towards the center because I want to have a little dimension in my leaf because, or my petal because you know that's totally my thing. Okay. All right. Copy and selectively edit. Yes, that's true. Oh, and I see a couple of you guys have asked about Ella. Thank you. Um, she's not doing 100%. In fact, she probably is going to have to be out of cross country for the rest of the season. And I'll be honest, she's fairly devastated about that. So that's really not good. Thank you guys for asking about her. Uh, we found that out Friday. Oh my gosh. So Friday morning started out crazy. At 7.30, I was at the chiropractor with her, getting the results from her um, x-rays, which she got the week before or the couple days before. And, oh, well, so anyway, all right, now I'm going to take one of the stamps. This is the set falling flowers, which I love the set. So pretty. And I'm going to take the little, or actually I should say big swirly thing. And we're going to put it on my block. Look at this block. It's super dirty. <laughs> still works though. Um, and I'm going to stamp this in crumb cake. Oops. Sorry. I couldn't find my crumb cake pad. Yeah. So sh she, she's bummed out, but I think this is a good experience for her. She kind of, she needs to see what it's like to have adversity and how to deal with it. So I, think it's good. We'll survive. <laughs> I know she was so happy to have made the team. It actually, that is probably why she's so upset, but again, it's okay. She's, she's still hanging out with her team and participating, which I think is a good thing. So, okay. So I've got my stamping on here. Ooh, I just thought of something. We're going to turn the card over. Oh, look, you decorate the back of your cards all the time, don't you? Um, I do. I changed my mind because I want to stick. Here we go. I've got a quarter sheet of crumb cake. I want to stamp on this because I want to be able to tie a thing around her back. <laughs> Not her back, my card. Um, how did she hurt her back? I was reading and talking at the same time and that did not go well. Um, she ha So she has a pinched well she's got a um what is it called a disc sorry stamping and talking is hard <laughs> she has a oh a bulging disc in her l45 s1 area the her lower back and i was about to point to my back as if you could see it <laughs> and then she um they think it's probably related to um, the extra work she's been doing to get on that varsity team because she has been working really hard. And then um, the strain of carrying around a heavy backpack and not having the musculature in her um, 
in her core to hold her hold her back in place. Long story short, she's getting physical therapy and whatnot, but she might not be able to go before the season is over. So, because when she did go back, it was too hard. It was hard on her and that probably set her back. So anyway, there you go. Okay. I'm going to stop talking about my daughter now so I can concentrate on this card. But thank you guys so much. Hi, Sue. It's nice to see you. Um, okay, so back to my card. I now, so I stamped it on here, but then I was like, oh, I want to tie a ribbon around it, and I want to go this way, and not this way. So to do that, I need a card that opens this way, which I do not have. So instead, I put a layer on it, and I kind of like that layer because it makes it fancy. And then actually, let me see. I might, depending on how big this layer is. Oh, it's not quite big enough. We can trim it though and make it big enough or the right size. So I'm going to take and oops, put my card in here. So my black layer is four inches. I'm going to make this uh, three and seven eighths, and the other direction is five and a quarter. So I'll make it five and an eighth. P.S. That is my favorite. Um, layering combination is to have a three and seven eighths by five and one eighth back on a four by five and a quarter because you get that skinny little strip. So I like that. Then I thought what we would of course have to do is stamp um, with or tie ribbon on with the new crochet vintage crochet trim that's in the holiday catalog that's black because hello that would totally work with this. And if I'm lucky, I've got some out here, but I have a feeling I might not because I, hold on, I stuck it someplace. Oh, hold on one second. I'm grabbing it. Okay, seriously, for reals. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, it's over here. Can you hear me? I'm still here. Ah, I can't find my ribbon. I may have gone through all of this trouble and not been able to find my ribbon. Oh, do you guys ever do this? Seriously, this makes me mad because it would be so perfect. Oh, it's right here. Okay, it's a long story about why I have this ribbon in this pile, but just, um, trust me. <laughs> okay, so I have my layers here, and I want to tie my ribbon around. Don't you think this black ribbon is perfect? Oh my gosh, you guys. Seriously. Okay, so I'm going to tie this on. I'm just trying to, I'm thinking maybe it'd be cuter up here. So we will alter this ever so slightly. But I'm going to put this up here, and I love this. So this is found in the holiday catalog with the black um, and orange stuff for Halloween in the spooky cat region, which is the very back. Um, Kelly did not organize everything. Bonnie, she actually, I had to go. So Bonnie um, and Kelly have been helping me after classes. And last week they were here and um, they were helping me with some stuff. And no, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't get that much organizing done a little bit. Actually, I'll show you what we did do because I say we because like I totally just sat there. But Kelly um, went through my my white and vanilla cardstock. I should have taken a before picture because it was pretty bad. And then now we have piles of vanilla. Why won't this do what I want it to do? There we go. See, it's, it keeps curling back. Like, stay. <laughs> All right. So there we go. We've got our bow. I thought this card deserved a bow, so that's why I did that. I'm going to pop it up. With some dimensionals and then the one thing you know I know you guys love when I just stamp on the fly but it takes forever because I talk too much <laughs> oh 
Oh, I see Janet says she lost the video and sound. If someone could say log in and log back, log out and log back in again, she'll probably get it back. Okay, so there we go. And then we're going to put this on. We're going to, um, ooh, I did this on a project last week and I loved the look. I can't remember what project it was. I think it was on my blog in a video. I'm just going to rub the edges in black ink. So you almost have the illusion of a layer of black, but not really. Like you don't actually have it, but you can see it's just a teeny bit of black. Thank you, Heather. Um, so there it is. And then I will um, pop this layer up as well. This is going to be a dimensionally rich card. <laughs> or thick, however you want to say it. And then we'll stick this one on. Ooh, I love it already. Yay! And then I've got this layer, which we're going to pop up as well. Like I said, get out your dimensionals. I go through a lot of dimensionals. It's not even funny. The stamp set is uh, Falling Flowers. Right there. And then we'll have to come up with a sentiment for this. Do you guys have any ideas on what kind of card this would be? I'm going to tuck this in. I like to rip this off. That looks pretty good. I just set that down. I probably should not have, but oh well. I'll stick it out just a little more. And then, boom. There we go. We're not done, though. Because you guys know what ne this needs. Some spritzing, right? Okay, so let me grab my spritzing marker. I think this is it. So here's a good um, thing about spritzing. So you can see my card is right here. Not a ton got on there at first, but do you see where all the spritzes are? They're right over here. So that means I either need to move my card or something. But there we go. Now we're not done yet. Because... The details are where the card really shines, right? I'm going to put a gold faceted gem in the center there. Uh-huh. Because um, that's what I had on my other card. <laughs> and then I'm thinking we said birthday. Oh, dang it. Someone said birthday. I just um, literally got a black dot on my boob. That made me mad. Okay, so birthday, 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 birthday birthday. I'm looking for a birthday sentiment. That's why I'm saying it out loud. Um, ooh, well, let's celebrate, but I don't know about that one. Ooh, what about this one? Let's celebrate. I think that one will be good. This is the confetti celebration stamp set. So we're going to get, let's celebrate out of here. I got to move my Oreos so I can get a block. <laughs> I hate it when my blocks get in the way of my Oreos. That's no good. All right, I'm going to take my black ink. And now I definitely recommend doing this before the last step of your card, because if you mess up, it's kind of hard to fix it. But whew, that worked out. Okay. Oh, that turned out all right. What do you guys think? Not bad. Good job, Karen and Dina and Pinterest. <laughs> so we have... I moved these cards to protect them. Look at she signed it. Isn't it so cute? All right. So we have our original card, the card we liked card, and then the card we cased card. Oh, so perfect. Love it. Love it. Love it. That turned out pretty good. You guys seem to like it too. So yay. All right. So there you guys go. That was a fun card. I like it. Now, I really think you can, of course, do this in so many different color combinations, whether you stick to this kind of original idea or if you take and put different colors of flowers, different shaped flowers. I still like this flower a lot. Um, or you can also switch up the printed paper you're putting here and, of course, the color scheme. But I think a lot of options are certainly available for this one. So that's a really great card. Um, and I have to... Speaking of really great cards, I made this card. And the only reason this is on my blog today and there's a video um, 
the only reason I want to, to mention this one is because last week, do you remember we made these cards? You might not remember because I haven't gotten the blog post up yet. I Have I mentioned I've been really busy? Um, but I really literally made this card because I was in, I was kind of in my head with the three by four cards on a card and that's what this is and so I really liked it you can see I added some embossing and there's all kinds of cool stuff as well as a tip on this bow so check that video out if you haven't seen it it's on my blog today all right so we did those now I do have another project remember how last week um, actually the cards I just showed you were make and take cards that I was supposed to make at um, at the Thailand incentive trip so I have to show you this because there's one more project I didn't make, and it uses the Merry Little Labels stamp set from the Holiday Catalog. So that is really awesome. And I have some tags to make. So we're going to make those tags. I've pulled out my stamp set, and they're really easy. Um, they'll be even easier if I can find my parts and pieces. So I've got... Uh, all the stuff to make several tags. I think there's three different tags. And then some DSP and some embellishments, including this. So we're using the Merry Little Christmas DSP. And then we're also going to um, do a little watercoloring. So these scrap pieces right here, can you, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. That's shimmer white, shimmery white cardstock. And what's awesome about shimmery white is it, it you can watercolor with it a little bit. Um, I'm just digging out my everyday label punch. Ha ha ha! You might recall we used that later or last week. I've been using this punch a lot actually. Okay, so I have my three pieces here, and what I'm going to do is stamp the sentiments. That are on here so I've got just for you is one no peeking and let no no peeking just for you oh two in front of course hello that's like the perfect tag there ever could be I do really like the set and the punch makes it so easy to use okay so on each of these we're going to I'm trying to decide if I want to stamp first or watercolor first and I don't know that's a hard question. Okay, so we're gonna have to, of course, um, I'm gonna have to trim my rubber because I want to get a good, clean stamping. And oh my gosh, I was <laughs> I was shooting the videos for my Painted Harvest online class that just came out, and um, I kept catching the edge on the um, block because if you use too large a block you and gush your stamp too much in your ink, you can catch the edge. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. And it was making me so mad. and um, I But I did it like in three different cards. <laughs> and I think I kind of did something like that last week during Facebook Live. And then I showed you my eraser. I did that in a video last week. I can't remember. Maybe it wasn't Facebook Live. But long story short, um, I was really mad at myself. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be the teacher here. Hello. This should not be happening. So... Uh, I guess the moral of that story is it happens and don't worry, you're not alone because <laughs> even a professional, I like to call myself a professional, <laughs> even professionals have issues. Okay, so there's that one and I'm going to leave this one blank or uncut because I think it'll be okay because it's pretty close to the size of the punch. Okay, so no peeking. And for you and then to and from all right so we're gonna stamp these onto our onto our scraps and then punch them out so I'll stamp them in black and then do you guys love this DSP this uh, have a merry little Christmas or is that what it's called merry little Christmas it is so cute and kind of different I love the black yes 
Richelle, I do do a live show every week, Mondays at 3 p.m. Central Time, which is right now. All right, so there's my for and from. I guess it's not to and from, it's for and from. And then this is just for you. And then this is no peeking. Okay, so we've got all of those stamped. I'll close this up before I get ink on anything else. Because I know Sue's watching and she's always worried about that kind of stuff. Okay. Then I'm going to take my old olive. Now to do this, I am going to squeeze the ink pad to the lid. And you can see I get all that color in the lid. I'll take my aqua painter. My favorite. Because you guys know I love watercoloring. I'll just pick up some of that color. And then I'm just going to kind of do a little wash across there. Notice I'm not doing it perfectly, nor am I going all over. I'm just doing it a little there. Oh my gosh, somebody is watching from Tasmania. How cool is that? Hi, Christina. What a, that has got to be the most exotic place I think we've had on here. Very cool. How are things in Tasmania? It sounds so exotic. <laughs> all right, and then once more on the For You. So you can just see I'm going right over this. No fancy techniques. If you can scribble with water, you can do it. All right. So is Tasma Tasmania is off the coast of Australia, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay. So now that I've done all of these, I'm going to go ahead and punch them. What do I do with my punch? Here it is. Punch them with my punch. And, of course, you could use these as standalone tags just as they are, but, I mean, what fun would that be? We're going to dress them up a little. All right. So doesn't this look kind of fancy? I like it. And then you can see it lines up so perfectly with this design. Isn't that adorable? Very cute. You're a separate island. I knew that. <coughs> I mean, hello, Tasmanian devils, right? My husband loves, what, isn't there uh, the Tasmanian devil from, like, Warner Brothers, you know, like, Bugs Bunny, that? I remember he gave me a stuffed Tasmanian devil when we were dating. <laughs> uh, I hope that's not too cliche, cliched for you. <laughs> okay, so now I've got, um, I'm going to take three different papers and create tags with my triple banner punch. So I believe these are two inches wide, yes. And I'm just going to punch them. I probably should do one at a time instead of three. I'm going to punch them with my triple banner punch. I've just got it in there. And I'm giving it a quick punch. And these will kind of form the basis of my tag. And then we'll dress them up just a touch. Not like a ton. Ooh. I just totally messed that up. And that is because this is a thinner piece of cardstock. So let me fix that. That was my bad. I had to give it a little more gusto. Okay, so now we'll take those pieces and what I am gonna do is punch them at the top with my eighth inch circle punch, or handheld punch. I guess it is a circle, but I'll just punch through the center right there. Oh, Bethann, you will not be disappointed if you get that. Hi, Sylvie from Gatineau, Quebec. That sounds very French. Oui. Uh, mon petit chou. See, I took high school French. I can speak it. I say that jokingly because I can't. <laughs> okay, now we're going to take this punch. We're going to do each of these tags just a little different. I'm going to take this punch and actually punch again. Okay, and then what I'm going to do with that is use it behind here. So it's like an extra, you know, thing. <laughs> That's an official term. So there you go. Um, we'll pop that up in between the layers. And, oh, you know what? Actually, I didn't want to pop them up there. <laughs> Kidding. I'm going to attach it to this layer and then pop the whole thing up. That's what I meant. Because otherwise it might look kind of weird. 
Okay, so isn't that cool? I like the the look of creating all that with just two punches. Okay, so we'll put that on here. Like so. Boom. And then we're going to make it into a tag with a little bit of our jute twine. Okay, and I can take and tie this. You're welcome, Peggy. Actually, this was a request, I think, from Karen. I haven't seen Karen on here yet. I don't know if she's on. She asked for Christmas tags with the holiday season arriving. So this, of course, fit that bill perfectly. I'd like to say that I completely planned it that way. I did a little, but mostly it was a project that was ready to go so I could do it. Okay, next, I'm going to take this strip and... Um, I actually think I need to trim it down, so give me one second. Well, I suppose I could use my trimmer, but I trim this down an inch, and that, so it's an inch wide, and then we're going to punch the end. Okay, and then let's see, we're going to put that on this one, and we'll pop this up. And maybe actually, um, what did I do with my punch? Here we go. I'm going to punch this quick so that it's, punched together. Ah, it's all mostly even. <laughs> oh, well. So I'll just add a little fast fuse. And then we'll pop this one up. I think we're just gonna, I'm going to do that. Oh, that's just not working out quite the way I'd intended. Maybe I'll punch a hole through this too. When in doubt, keep punching holes. You'll get there. Oh my gosh. So my husband is so wearing off on me in a bad way. All I can think of whenever I say something is that's what she said. You know, it's from, um, it's from the office. Michael Scott says it all the time. I'm pretty sure I've said it on here before, but he kept saying that all the time. <laughs> this weekend when we were, um, we were together with our family, he kept saying, that's what she said. And oh, such a ding dong. Okay. Um, so Janet, I am using the eighth inch handheld circle punch. Okay, so here's another tag, which we will dress up. And then the last one is going to be kind of fun. So the last one is going to use this piece. And then I've got my little scrap here. I'm going to use the Holly Builder Punch and punch out my two holly leaves on here. And I'm going to kind of fold them in half a little bit, you know, so they're dimensional. I'm just sort of curling them in half, not really folding them in half, I guess. Um, okay. And then I also have, hopefully, a piece of, here we go, a piece of, um, oh, well, okay, so I actually I have two pieces. I have a piece of black. I'm going to punch that into a tag. And this is because the piece I'm using is kind of, um, is kind of thin. It's the specialty DSP that's a little thinner. So I'm just going to kind of offset my tag like so. Um... Casey, I saw what you said. I know what you meant. Okay. Ooh, I guess I could have used the the other side, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Don't you hate it when you can't decide which side of your paper to use? <sighs> or you put the wrong side of your paper with the adhesive on it? Whoops. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I've got that on here. And then I'm going to take... This is that new striped ribbon, which I love. It's part of this suite. I'm actually going to cut off the end which I realize is kind of a sacrilege. Like, why would you even do that? But it's just so we have kind of a different way of using our ribbon. All right, so I've got just this long strip and I'm going to take and just cut the ends. I could do like the 
whole, um, the whole, you know, I think I showed you this last week where you fold this over. All of the videos I shot last week are kind of running together and I shot quite a few. So, um, I apologize for that. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, and then finally, I'm going to put this on here. And of course this has the holly on it. So we're going to carry that theme with our holly punches. So I'll put a couple of dimensionals on here and oops, I need to get my little strip adhered. Now I'm kind of kicking myself for not using the other side of that printed paper, but whatever. That's what happens. And then I'm going to tuck behind here the holly leaves that I punched. And maybe I'll punch one more, to be honest, so that there's three. Am I making all tags today? No, just three I made a card already, Cindy. You might have missed it. It was pretty awesome, though, so definitely check out the replay. And then I'll tuck that in there like so, and then we're going to punch one more. We'll do the smaller holly leaf. Boom. And then, oh, we have to make another card. Oh, I might have an idea for it, but if you have any suggestions or something you want to see, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> okay, so there is that. I've got my little thingies, and there's my tags. So we've got that one, we've got that one, and we've got that one. La, la, la. I think this needs a little something, though. What if we took our holly? Oh, yeah. And one sec. I'm getting some glimmer paper. This is why you keep these ridiculously small pieces. So you can punch these little teeny holes. And actually, this circle is a little big. So I think I'm going to see if I can find a smaller circle in one of my punches. Um, let's. See, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the this is just well no those are not the right size either maybe I ha will have to use my holly punch I was oh I know I can use my eighth inch circle punch <laughs> well then I'm gonna use it down here so I'm just gonna punch um, a punch and of course that's gonna go in here so let's see if we can find it <laughs> I just here we go I just dumped all these out, but I'm going to put that right there, right? It's just a little something, something, but it works. So I will take my fine tip glue pen for this. Thank you, Sandy, for sharing. Of course, please share my video. You'll get entered into a drawing, which reminds me, I did not draw last week's winner, so I'm going to have to do that because uh, I have the Mary patterns I think is what it was called up for grabs so we definitely have to award that to somebody because that was a great one take red sharpies to the rhinestones yes that is an excellent idea as well and now you can see the contents of my punch now I just got to find the piece that I just punched I think it's this one yep and we'll put one more little blob right here it's just a little something, but I do think it adds something to the whole thing. So there is that one. All right, and then we're going to do one more card. I've seen uh, Cindy wants Painted Harvest. Oh, I might just have to do that because that is my favorite. Hello? Oh, hi, Ella. Hi. I'm doing a Facebook Live. Say hello to the internet. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Men, I don't know if we have any men on today, but Go you never know. Men. Go stamping men. <laughs> hey, I hate to bother you in the middle of your Facebook live, but sometime later, can you help me study? I don't know my macromolecules, and you used to be a ah, biology teacher. I did used to be a biology teacher. I probably can help you with that. Okay, awesome. that can I'll be help? happy to. All right. When your daughter asks you for biology homework. <laughs> Okay. All right. So let's see. She's so cute. Yeah, she is. Isn't she? Darn it all. You should have seen her this weekend. She was adorable. 
Okay, so let's see. Somebody said Painted Harvest. Let me go back. She's so cute. Yeah, yeah. Ella, Ella, Ella. I'm looking back at the comments. <laughs> um, Painted Harvest and... Oh, watercolor pumpkins. That's a good idea. I might play with that idea. Take red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Faux watercolor. Okay. A unique fold card. Ooh. More pumpkin bundle cards, please, Dina. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I like that. When is her homecoming? It's this weekend. So, you know, I'm going to share pictures for you guys. Okay, so somebody said pumpkin bundle. I'm assuming this is what you meant. I believe that was, was that, are you talking about this one? It's the other pumpkin, pump, pumpkin one. The other pumpkin one I don't have, but I do have this one. All right, so let's do this. I kind of like that idea anyway. I did a really cute card um, with this set last week. Did you guys see that one? I'm looking to see if I have it handy, but I don't know if I do. Um, here we go. I found it. This was the card that I made last week. Okay. Uh, so I have this stamp set is really fun. Okay. The pressure of coming up with a card on this. Ho, 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 ho. Uh, let's see here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Sometimes I like looking at the uh, catalog to help me come up with some ideas. So let's do that quick. Ooh. Oh, okay. Let's see. I don't have this set, the Gourd Goodness. I did not get that one. Um, but I do have this one. So let's see here. Um, okay. Okay. Hi, Kelly. How are you? I love me some Kelly. She's one of my, my besties. All right. So I'm going to... I'm going to think about this. The pressure of doing this. Oh, my gosh. Usually when I stamp riff, I do have some sort of idea in my head. So this... So today it might be a little tricky because I don't have anything in my head on this, but sometimes that's where I shine. We'll see. Um, oh, it's already four o'clock. Dang it, you guys. I do have to go fairly soon because my son has, uh, he needs a ride, you know, typical parent. Gotta get those kids places. All right. So what does K stand for? copy and share everything or as someone pointed out copy and selectively edit or as I like to call it copy and improve so it's up to you it's any of those things um, but I do love to case I have to say though I really like let's see I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking um, I'm thinking well, whew, the pressure is on. What if we did? I'm thinking we're going to do a little fun. So I've got a, um, this is Berry Burst. Final answer. Not even kidding. Um, and what if, okay, here we go. Wait, so this is what Kelly did. She separated all of my scraps of white out. Notice there's a gabillion. Um, and she separated them out kind of by size. And then white versus vanilla. And Kelly, if you're still on here, Kel this is Kelly um, McCauley. I had put those in one of the lower drawers in that drawer thing and the lower drawers were a little thicker so they fit yay okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp a bunch of these and you want non-traditional colors you got it 
So we're going to do Berry Burst. We're going to do Peekaboo Peach. And do we dare do Lemon Lime Twist or is that weird? Maybe we have to keep it sort of legit. Maybe we'll do Old Olive because that'll look good with these colors. I have that Old Olive pad out somewhere. As usual, I've created a disaster, but that's okay. Because that's where good projects come from. Here we go. All right. So we're going to stamp a bunch of these and die cut them. <laughs> um, I have to laugh because I'm thinking, oh, well, when I usually have to stop to die cut things, I'll just turn the camera off and then go die cut it and then start the camera again and then put the two videos together. <laughs> Not on live. You have to keep going. <laughs> so I'll stamp this one. And then I'll do this one. So the first one was in Berry Burst. This one is in Peekaboo Peach. Right there. And then maybe we should do Lemon Lime Twist. I know somebody said that. What is the funny odd shaped die for? Ooh, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, here. Here's the answer. Bermuda. Oh. Okay. So this will be fun. Um... Kelly Atchison, do you want to tell her what the funny shape die is for, or should I? <laughs> we had a little bit of a debate slash, not debate really, just a, oh, how do you get this thing to work? Um, are you talking about this one, I'm assuming? This thing? It's to put texture on your card, but the problem is um, Kelly was doing hers and last week, and she was trying to figure out how to get rid of the... Um, the bumps that it created on your big shot. So we were trying to come up with it. Oh, that was pear pizzazz. Well, that'll work. It's okay. I was going to do all olive, but no biggie. Okay. So we've got these. I'm also going to die cut this one probably and this one. So I think I'm going to do this one in black and this one in how about silver? Okay. So you have to give me a second while I die cut these. So I'm grabbed, oh man, I got to cut, cut into a whole piece of silver glimmer paper. So I'll be right back. Hold on while I die cut these shapes out. It'll just take me one second. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm die cutting. I'm not gone. See if I can get it all die cut in one pass. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? I'm still here, people. So I also have to tell you, it's been 90 degrees here for about a week. And so it doesn't really seem like fall. <laughs> it's kind of strange that way, I must say. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. In fact, my air conditioning just turned on, which is wrong at the end of September that it would be on. Like, hello. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Like my squeaky big shot. Okay, so here I am. Yes, this is Berry Burst. I cut a bunch of pieces and let's put it all together and see what we can come up with. So I've got all of those. Got that one, and this one, and this one. Ooh, ooh, I just thought of another thing. Okay, here we go. Creating is messy, though. Just got to tell you that. So 
first of all, I'm going to be covered in glitter for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, I also love this. I think it's going to be fun. I should have used my dye brush, though, to get all these stars out. Ooh, we could use the stars on something later. It's like confetti stars. Yay! That's always fun. Okay, I'll explain um, the indent issue later in just a second for you. Actually, oh, I meant to die cut that while I was there. Oh, well. Um, ooh, now, I did this uh, I did this on my card last week, and I liked how it turned out. So maybe I'll do it again, but with a different background. I put that on there. So I'm grabbing one more piece. And I'm hoping this is long enough. Phew, it is. Okay. So I've got a strip of berry burst. And then I'm going to take my favorite background, which generally is the, what do you call this? Oh, words are hard. Um, marbled background. I'm going to cover it with some berry burst ink. And then we're going to put this on. And I just need to grab a block to kind of rub on here. So I get nice, even pressure. Notice I didn't even put this on a block. All right, so there is our little background. I'm going to put this on here like that. And goodness, where did all my fast fees go? I have like three things and I can't find any of them. I told you it was a mess here. All right, so I'll put that on there like that. And then let's build up our images. So I die cut all these cute things. So I've got this big pumpkin in black. I need a poking device to get all oops, to get all these pieces out. I didn't use my dye brush, which was a mistake. I I realize now. <laughs> okay, so I've got my black one. I've got my silver one. I've got my orange one. This is peekaboo peach, actually. I've got my berry burst one. I've got my whatever color that is, Bermuda Bay, and I even have one in Pear Pizzazz, even though I kind of think it should have been Old Olive, but that's okay. Ooh, and I think I, there, is that better? You can see a little better. Sorry about that. Okay, so I've got all those on there. I'm going to adhere them, but I just wanted to check out how they looked, and maybe we'll tuck in. A little of this business like so yeah uh-huh uh-huh do you, are you guys liking this I am and then um, I think I'm gonna do a little stamping of this on here so I kind of like that I'm gonna sort of just keep that all aside okay um then I saw somebody say something about awesomeness. Thank you. You use my vernacular. I love it. Okay. So then we're going to fill this out just a little bit more. So I'll take what other image. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one other image I want to use here. This one. And stamp this as well. So I'm going to kind of stamp this one up here. This one kind of over there, and that just helps fill things out. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh, that was bad, and it landed upside down. Dang it! This is my broken black pad, which I've been using and probably shouldn't have. Hold on, I gotta clean that up before I get ink on absolutely everything. And dang it, it fell on this is why you keep wet wipes. 
it fell on my newly see it's right there my I just wiped this paper with a wet wipe yeah that's not so bright Dina oh <sighs> okay but my fingers appear to be clean for the most part all right so let's build this back up I kind of have the gist of it I'm going to put where's my adhesive see do you guys work like this where you literally have the size of your card left in space and that's about it I'm gonna put a little adhesive on my pumpkin <laughs> so there's my pumpkin and then I'm gonna add to it this pumpkin I think we'll pop it up we gotta pop some of these up 30 degrees in Southwest Ontario trust me that's stinking hot anytime but <laughs> oh my gosh 30 that's pretty hot in Celsius Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's that one. And then we've got this one. Now for, oh, there's another thing we can undo. For this one, I'm going to put a couple of mini dimensionals because those will fit in between these little spots nicely. I kind of love these dang mini dimensionals. They sort of solve a lot of problems so that you don't have to... figure it all out okay there's that and then I'll probably just adhere this one on okay you guys know we're spritzing this at the end right I mean that's a given I'm assuming you've got that figured out <laughs> okay so I think this one will go right under here like so and then my last one I'll stick right here and then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get these little sparkly thingies where I'm gonna tuck those in but isn't this cute I like it it's coming together nice I think we can just do that and that right oh yeah so cute okay I know I'm totally up for fall weather I hope I hope I hope we get some thunderstorms like tonight and into tomorrow I think we're supposed to that will cool it down around here goodness gracious okay how did I get that in here like that maybe there we go okay so there we go now, I do think this calls for some of that black um, crochet thread, too, don't you think? Yeah! And then, of course, do we want it? Yeah, I think up here is good. Um, and then, of course, we need a sentiment on here. Like, do I have a giant happy Halloween somewhere? I hope so. Oh, Jenny, I'm glad you like this. Okay, so let me tie this on. There we go. See, this lays goofy though. It doesn't, it does not bow to my will. I don't like ribbon that doesn't bow to my will. That is no good. I'll just trim it a little. Okay, well, obviously, we need to spritz this with some black ink. I mean, that's a given, right? I mean, you guys are all with me on that, aren't you? <laughs> Hello, Sky from Michigan. I'm so excited you're here. Welcome. Okay, so we've got some spritzing. And then I think it also goes without saying that we need to do a little of this to make it... Sparkle, that's Wink of Stella, and now it sparkles and it's spritzed. Oh, just so cute. All right, then, well, you're welcome, Sky. Thank you. Um, and then we need a sentiment. Oh, so let me see what I've got here. Oh, 
well, trick or treat, of course. Hello, and look at this. <gasps> Virgin stamp set. I haven't used it yet. It is time. Oh, and we will do stamp surgery because I haven't really done that yet. So this says trick or treat, and then there is a little um a little thing of candy. Yeah, we're cutting that right off, of course. And then I'll go around the edges. And I think this is perfect. So this is called Creep It Real. I have not used this set. Obviously, I desperately need to. I think it's super cute. But I really like how my card is shaping up here. And uh, let's finish this up. And then I do need to get going. Now, I... I always say I post these on Wednesdays and that will continue to be my goal. I haven't gotten last week's up yet and I hope to get both of these videos up for you, but like I said, it's been a little crazy around here. Okay. Oh, where's my black? Remember the black ink pad that I went crazy with? We're going to dare to use it again. Now, whenever I have a stamp that I'm using for the first time, I often like to try test it out on scrap paper just to make sure that I'm stamping it correctly. So trick or treat. I probably should have stuck it right there though. Oh well. But there it is. How cute is this? It looks like you guys like it. Yay. So let me bring back in all of the projects from today. I'm going to close up my ink pads. And We'll get some of the stuff out of the way, and then we'll talk about all the details that you all need. Okay, so first of all, let's not throw away any important pieces. So we used Creep It Real and the pumpkin set to make this card. I believe it's called Pick a Pumpkin. Yes! So those two for that one. And then we took and used the falling flowers to make this one. I'm just crashing things here, don't worry. <laughs> and that was based on the gorgeous card that Karen sent me and then a card I had made earlier. We combined the two and here they are. And then we also, what else did we make today? There was something else, right? Um, oh, the tags. Gosh, what did I do with them? Uh, can you believe I can't find them? Because my area is so messy. So then I used Merry Little Labels to make three tags, which I've clearly stuck someplace weird. Oh, darn it. Seriously, what did I do? With oh, here they are. Gosh, they were on their side. That's why I couldn't find them. Three tags. There we go. So those are our projects from today. And... I'm going to give you the lowdown on this week's stuff. Okay, so for this week, if you place at least a $50 order, I'm going to give you some black rhinestones because you know what I'm thinking right about now? Um, I am thinking that's what should be embellished on all these cards. So hold on. Okay, so when you use the host code and place at least a $50 order, you'll get free black rhinestones. I'm abbreviating rhinestones because I ran out of room. <laughs> okay, so there's that. And then... If you would like to send cards for Julie because of her grandson, Chase, um, we talked about that on Facebook Live. Please send them to me. I would so appreciate it. 2205 Barkwood Drive, Cedar Falls, Iowa. Um, 
I don't have a problem giving my address out to the interwebs, but I don't want to give her address out to the interwebs. Okay, and then of course, share or order. And then you'll get entered into a drawing for a free stamp set. And you know what? Um, I'll let you pick up to uh, a $20 value. How do you like that? <laughs> so the winner gets to pick the set that they would like. Okay, and you have until, um, what's today? The 20, today's the 25th, right? You have until next week, which, someone tell me what day Sunday is. You have until Sunday which is nine, that's gotta be close to the end of the month. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Ooh, well, there's only 30 days. We're gonna say till 9.30. You have until 9.30 to uh, do this, because actually the co hostess code is gonna end on the 30th. So October 1st, too late, won't work. You have until the end of this month to take advantage of the special. Okay, so if you order $50, you get free rhinestone, black rhinestones, which are awesome. Um, if you would send a sympathy card, um, this is for Julie, whose grandson Chase took his life last week, who goes to our high school here in town locally. And... Uh, he was bullied, and we are just, oh, so devastated about that. If you could keep her in your prayers, and if you would like to send a card, she would. I would appreciate it. We'll send them to her to know that she is loved. And then, of course, if you order or share, you'll get a free stamp set. I should say a drawing. <laughs> I can't give all of you a free stamp set. But... I will let the person who wins pick whichever set they want up to $20. So there you go. So make sure you share and make sure if you get order, if you share and you order, that's called two drawing or two entries into the drawing. So we like that. So please take a look at that. Make sure you use the host code. And if you have any questions, of course, let me know. I'll try and get this up on my blog on Wednesday so you can see all of the projects we made as well as the deals. And thank you so much. I really need your help. Help with ordering though um, I would so 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 appreciate it um, that would help me out a ton if you order from me so thank you it helps bring more of these awesome videos um, and also I do have an online class coming out uh, painted harvest is ready to go and then my coffee cafe stamp or online class is coming so I'll make sure the um, links to those are posted as well Thank you guys so much for stamping with me today. I always feel good when I stamp with you, and I appreciate you being with me. Have a great week. We'll see you again soon. Bye.